you're ready, my king. Tell me, Vinakis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. Hmm. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Is your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes yeah. your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! 
We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be- Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours.
She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. Another lesson. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. Hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? 
It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <clears throat> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Marcos knew this would serve young Cassandra well. Can't imagine fighting the Cyclops' thugs with it now. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. I keep telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. 
You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time about grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money! He always pays me back. After I threaten him. Exactly! Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <sighs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to, but don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it, these things happen. Where can I find the race? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. Mm, maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. The one on the left. Eh, uh, that one? This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. <gasps>
There they are. I'll sneak up on them, I like it. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good rounds on Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. What the... This tall grass will keep me hidden. My luck is get away. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you and... You've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that! Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Huh. Approach me. Nikolaus, the sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Bear him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Sandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? 
Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the stone fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Sami, the race will be at his shop. This is the stadium. Come on. The atiol on tuto. Cassandra, good to see you. Hello, Luis. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double? That's robbery. <laughs> That's what I told Marcos. You know him. He's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You tell Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget the Drachmi. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. <gasps> got a job to do, Cassandra? Out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the Drachmi. Good. 
Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It will take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world. Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Alexios! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Valonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a hovel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Talking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. I don't know what you're talking about. Of all the fucking phonies, Marcos! Oh, she's just playing. It's a little game we have. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood... You'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over!
There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Me. I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Oh my kidding. This place never changes. Not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and got in the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. It's not a war. It's a pissing match. You know just how to hurt me, Cassandra. It's not that hard. Trust me. Think. What does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No! His obsidian eye! Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. How to find the eye? If it's as valuable as Marco says, it'll be hidden.
I see you. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Oh my God. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Let's go. Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Care, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back? Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? 
send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast... Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house, by a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. and the people. Stay out of sight. I wouldn't come any closer. is coming for you! <laughs> to the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. 
Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind are unusually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Cassandra... my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus? You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca is not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the Shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius. Don't fail. of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? wasn't lying. A 
I mean, cloth. Cassandra, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. I'm not an assassin. There's a first time for everything. What do you say? Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He'd do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me drachmi. He's not good for business. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, 
Come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. Till next time. Get your boats here. Good for the whole family. It's a fine ship, Telimenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What'll it take for you to part with her? Oh, I couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Move! Let's go.
watch will be vigilant here. The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. God, that's my witness. I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them! I swear! All of them! I have never heard so much fucking God talk from one man in all my days! <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? Don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Forget it.
We shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were! All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So, you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me. But this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship, and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia!
We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with. Since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with a fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug! All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you, too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course! Though, you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us! Silence! <laughs> Dishonor for the life she has snuffed. 
She is not me, Spartan, Nicholas. Don't listen, Nicholas. Don't listen. No. No. Don't listen, Nicholas. Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Thunder! We've been waiting for you. Forward! There's some debris in the water. to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? 
No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Go to port. A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. He'll make a worthy addition to the crew. I got him. Good! He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. 
We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Get ready to leave! Good to have you back, Commander. Change the face of the big world. If it's not Spartans or Athenians, it's bandits and pirates. The gods protect us all the mankind. The Athenians have blocked the entrance to the bay! Yeah! <laughs> 
did it! We are through! From what I've heard, the Harris is home to the fiercest fighting so far. The Spartans are preparing for a final push to rid the region of the We can't no! keep going at this speed! No way! The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. If Nicolaus is your father, I guess that makes you my brother. Did you take a blow to the head during battle? What are you talking about? The wolf is my father, as well as yours. Ridiculous. Before he adopted me into his home, he had two children. And they both died in Sparta many years ago. Except for the one standing before you now. You almost fooled me. But I wasn't born yesterday, Mystios. Let's stick to the subject of why you're here. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. It's my honor to serve Sparta. I've come to pledge my sword to the wolf of Sparta. If you wish to pledge your services to my pater, you can do so by helping me. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. 
Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'm ready to serve. Together we will ensure that Sparta is victorious. You're a different kind of Mystios, aren't you? You're just what we need to help deal with that meddling Athenian mercenary. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. Close to the wolf? I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Did you stretch your wings? Hmm? No 
σπουδαίο τέρμα. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Fort Hierania is formidable. This must be where the Athenians keep their war chest. I should use Icarus to find what I need. making that noise. To make the Athenians around here angry. Thank you. 
I should get the treasure and leave quietly. The Athenian soldiers won't be so eager to fight when they don't get paid. So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be. Come on! Leader is dead. I should return to Stentor.
Ella. You're going to kill somebody! Yeah! Men have as men who won. Men have as men. Papa say as he mixes his papa the father. I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So, tell me about the wolf. He is a great leader. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? Now you'll see Sparta he... he is to be admired. Strong, caring in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... he gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense a sadness there. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some events. This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war.
The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. This is it. What do I even say? So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death! I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You were my father. You were supposed to protect me. You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my brother because you wouldn't. The Oracle decreed that Alexios had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore. Enough! can change the past, Sandra. I will live and die a Spartan. There is a large reward for the mercenary that can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! <laughs> Though you deserve death, there is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghosts of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your brother as if you were truly my own. But you were never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her? Whatever Melina is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware the snakes in the grass, Cassandra.
I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaos raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaos thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fakis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money, and an explanation. Aye, Cassandra. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. Mm, I'll think about it. Good. You know, kings and queens travel to Phokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that... Yes, I know. That's enough Oracle talk for now. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But... Nikolaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Cassandra, in all the excitement, I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. Was that old house? It was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Alaka, that priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. 
Thanks, Varnavas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Vinor has a lot of explaining to do. Rowers! To positions! Nice to see you, Commander! Ride, Phobos! Should be careful. High security here. Papse. Ooh. As for 
Julian Beltiste. Yeah. Evre. Ah, Mistyos. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? How did you know Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater. All of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the Oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You think my life is entertainment? Oh, no, my friend. It is art. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with a wolf? He mentioned my mother. She still lives? Not for long, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? You are going to bring me her head, of course. Are you out of your mind? You killed the man who raised you for a sack of coins. I only assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Not away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Alpino. Oh, Phoebe, you led him right to me. Pinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Pinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compared to Elpinor. 
I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. <laughs> Stand aside, all of you. Sandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later, in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the Oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well... Is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the Oracle for you. Is the spear of Leonidas? Uh, I may have mentioned you. I would appreciate your showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did. You know my spear just by looking at it? No more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. 
war is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing, like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irodotos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. 
<laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the Temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Chases Selene again. Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. of protection for the Pythia. Here to hurt you. I just want answers. 
The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles! I want names! I don't know! I swear! They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived the terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. So much for using finesse. I should tell Herodotus what Epithia told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. Well? 
What did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. And how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. Malakas liar. Hiding in plain sight. Why am I not surprised? Elpinor! You coward! Elpinor knew I would come for him. Use that imposter to lure me into a trap. Your plan failed, Elpinor. Soon you will join your imposter.
Yeah, away we go. <laughs> and, uh... Never seen so many olive trees. Warp me of snakes in the grass, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Death is coming for you, Elpinor. Before we kill you.
a mistake. Trusting you on Kefalonia was a mistake. I am the reason you left that island alive. The cult wanted you dead. What cult? Where are they? found on Elpinor is like nothing I've ever seen. Might come in handy. So this is the secret chamber. They're not ones for subtlety, are they? So, this is it. Hidden chamber of the cultists. Here, all along. I'm going inside. Keep my clothes for me? Best not to go in with your weapons, either. I don't think they'll look too kindly on that. How do I look? Terrifying. Good. Find me once you've found out the truth in there. Keep your wits about you. Try not to do anything rash. Me? Rash? These ridiculous costumes were a good idea.
You're late! Very late! It's a good thing Demos hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my... first time. A new recruit? <gasps> welcome, welcome! There's a lot of people here. All share our common mind. Good. We're here to evaluate the strides taken by the cult since the last meeting. We haven't met for some, some time. Where did they come from? The land and across the seas, we assemble as a community. Here, there is no war. There are no sides. You mentioned someone. Vimos. Who is that? You'll learn his name very, very quickly. He's our leader. I'm sure he believes that, but no. He's our weapon. He's difficult, but he does important work for us. I don't envy his position one bit. I'll go talk to the others. Thank you. Yes, yes, before Demos comes. Who knows if you'll get a word in after that. I'm still not convinced. You, we need another opinion on this. Why split the resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. Immediate threats have to be destroyed. Pericles has to be destroyed. Not without the mother. We aren't strong enough without the mother. Don't let Vimos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the father. We know who the mother is. Looking for the father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the champion's mother or his father? Neither. You have a better idea? The sibling, Cassandra. She's as good as ours already. We need to look to the future. No. Go after her. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need You're much more information to identify who Just these cultists wrong. are. We need to look for the father now. Pull yourself together, Malaka! You're a fucking pig before slaughter! I'll do it, I swear! I'll kill him! Let me go! You like to watch, you sick fuck! You're not just going to watch, you're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson! Does he deserve it? Does it fucking matter, does it? What I say goes! No questions asked! I... I couldn't do it! But I'm not scared. Not anymore. If you can't kill a fucking Archon, what are you gonna do when I tell you to kill a fucking Archon? I will. I will. I'll kill Phidias. I don't want it. Well, you fucking have to want it. Cause I say so. Take it. No. I won't do it. Give the coward another chance. Hmm. Think he owes you something, you lucky bastard! You get to keep your skin today! He would have killed me. He's insane. Thank you. Stay off his bad side. I will. But he's right. I'll go straight to Athens. I won't fail ever again. I'm going to kill Phidias.
Letters to and from the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. only blood right now, but who knows? Ramos may ask for our hands next. Go on, go on! Make your offering. I'll pass. The blood is for the cause, not the boy. Make your sacrifice. Sorry. We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the sister. You know, his kin. We need them. All of them. To use them? That information is not for Themos, of course. You know how volatile he is. He could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can he know we're about to capture his mother. <laughs> and do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use, unless she's uncontrollable. You know where she is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. Tell me about Demos. He's shown us what we need to know. He's a machine, a weapon for the cult. Someone that unstable can't be trusted with such personal information. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. It's strange. I feel something. Towards the pyramid. It's covered in shards like Alpinos. Ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I... No. My great warrior hasn't even arrived yet. Gather yourself and hold your tongue, fool. Show respect for the bloodline. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. 
Everyone will be tested. You first. You're alive. There were people in the temple. I couldn't see their faces. They... Robotos. They control... all of the Greek world. Everything. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen. Herodotus. It's my brother. We need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before.
Pericles is the king of the free people of Athens. King? Athens has no king. Pericles serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including your mother. Fuck your war! The cultists are exterminating my family! You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say, anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Irodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. 
This is where Leonidas was laid to rest. I wish I had known him. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries, before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts, but to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus! I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness. 
not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization, a people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. And all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Irodotos and I share enemies too. Like El Pinor? He is was part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be my brother. Your brother? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me about it. But don't you worry! This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies! And one of them fights like Athena and shits thunder like Zeus! We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them! Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates. Persian invasion? Hmm. The great Themistocles. King Darius of Persia. I'm not sure. A site where the great Theseus slayed the vicious Cretan bull. Oh, that marathon. <sighs> You're both hopeless. Attack! Send them to fire! What for 
Mirmidon, Achilles. Here it is. door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. something. Oh? Huh? The spear. It has magic. It carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. 
I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we are untouchable. Storms coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. I haven't forgotten you. like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos? Something's glowing over there. Demos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. If you insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't, but Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. 
Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. The center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. Fascinating. Layla, can you believe we're meeting Herodotus himself? I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So does what I'm seeing as Cassandra match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotus. It, he basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles. The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history is cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. I wonder if the Fry Twins would still recognize London. A rooftop's still a rooftop. How's it going out there? Well, no threats in view. I'm glad we could work together again. I believe our working methods are compatible. Are you still upset about our last run-in with Abstergo? I'm sorry, I didn't realize those hills in Quebec were so steep. But hey, you and your Yakuza reflex have saved us. Sorry, ex-Yakuza. We're all alive and our injuries have healed. That's what matters. Of course, I'll return to the Animus, then follow the trail Irodotos left to find the staff. But there's so many possibilities, so many choices. There's no way to know which ones are right. You used to run part of the Japanese Brotherhood. What would you do? Take things one step at a time, observe then act, or kill everyone and search their pockets for answers. You decide. Thanks for watching our backs, Kiyoshi. I'll leave you to your work. I'll report in if Abstago drops by. <laughs> Too bad we had to leave before we could drink some more caribou. 
looks third echelon. Or was it fourth? Looks third echelon. Or was it fourth? Looks third echelon. Or was it fourth? Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a long time. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Cassandra. All right. I'll be watching your back. Beer is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed? You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Alexios, you're alive! Don't touch me. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family. And we made it out of Sparta alive. <laughs> yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! <laughs> if that's what you think, Alexios, you must have hit your head on the way down. I've heard this story. And not from a liar like you. And never call me Alexios. Right. Demos. 
Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod, worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Sounds like a fantasy to me. Did the cult cook that story up too? I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The cult has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaus. Yet here you are, acting so righteous, when really, you're just like me. I don't care what you think. I'll find Mirini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. <laughs> oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. It's responsibility, not weakness. I won't abandon the whole family just for spite. Responsibility? Get off your high horse. The cult has a plan, and it won't be interrupted by the likes of you. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them? We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us, stand against us. And they pay for that mistake. Like me. Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum they're next. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do. And you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood. So let's see what you can do. We still found each other, brother. I told you not to touch me. Demos! <sighs> Malaka. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. Well, was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you and your spear? Slow down, Irodotos. My spear's stronger now. I can feel it. You were right, there was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision of me and my mother. So, 
The ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles... Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens, to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Pnyx. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. Let's set sail! Waiting your orders, Commander! When you're ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. <laughs> Off we go now.
But we must come together now for the glory of Athens. Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them. A good crop. Shame the Spartans burned the fields where it grew. The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you did a great job. It's so easy to forget the good someone has done when times become hard. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Medijos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Metiochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes.
Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces. But I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes, like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. <sighs> Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. Why kill Metiochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city, because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. 
I need to rid Athens of this snake seller. Feel the sting of my venom! safe. Oh, 
Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mystios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. It moving. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. I just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. It's been so long since Phidias and I have seen each other. You understand, don't you? Oh! Oh, come to pay him a last visit before the trial. He's as good as dead, you know. Better make this one count. Just don't tell anyone I was here. Sure, sure. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me. Us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the trial. He's saving you from being murdered. I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. <laughs> 
after all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? security here. If I meditate, maybe Phidias will be here when I'm done. made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Seriphos while we still can. Places I've called home. Hopefully, the cult won't bother me now. See? 
see that volcano? It's pretty hard to miss. Some say there is an entrance to the underworld at the bottom. And what? You enter by diving? That's the spirit! A brave Arcadian I once knew had the same idea. And what happened to him? The heat of the flames turned him to ashes before he made it halfway down. I guess some mysteries are best left unexplored. This is a nice ship. You don't have to do that. Do what? Fill the silence. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that at all. I simply don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be free. Yes, freeing seems to be an accurate word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're too. Is your stomach turning as much as mine is? You'll get used to it. We'll reach Serifos before long. It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias's early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. 
We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Goods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. I should try to stay out of sight. Should let Pericles' contact know. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens. 
Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this, or you for simply sealing his fate? Fine. I'm more responsible. But I did it because I have one concern. Myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates! There you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother.
Sandra, it's you. Phoebe. You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. 
Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Prodagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight. Or end one. Thank you, Irodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. You're leaving me alone with these people? <laughs> You'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in. Oh, oh, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Ooh. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. If you don't get the oil soon, all our fun will end. Ah, 
just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... How I wish you were right. One day, we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so... different. No one is like Pericles. And he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Theatera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Of course, I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon speaking at the Pnyx. He's a real man of the people. So, you have a taste for politics. That's certainly better than most of the elitist blowhards in this house. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends. Hardly. Let me post let the Charles to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles strip of power. Not that it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. 
I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or... Oh, forget it. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. This has been useless. Here. Yes, you come and talk to us, infuriating as not. I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. <laughs> a new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every Pidis likes to say. Don't you, every Pidis? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive, foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to Evripides, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over Evripides. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, Evripides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked.
save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-boring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I perhaps one drink. To Dionysos. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? How about some more? Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every Pidis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact, or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Ah, if it 
isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. 
A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erovodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him at to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming. And they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You'll get used to it. It's nice. 
What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! will hold back their fire while we are on open water. We should watch out.
Off we go now. Soldiers here. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island. Gods have mercy! You want mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just 
Let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Why do you need so much Drachmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. Here, take your Drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finikas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Finicas. There have to be people who know that name.
to sail! Awaiting your orders, Commander! Off we go now. Corinth, a city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. Biavi said the Etera here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthos' whereabouts. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, Lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around a hay bed? 
So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing, but Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Etera yet. The unbelievable you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth, but for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise, can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Etera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill, the Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Got to be careful not to get spotted.
I'm here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. This temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. The thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers men in Corinth. I'll keep my guard up. He craves money, Mistyos. Not only that, but power. Once he smells it on you, you're a gunner. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Etera? For money? Exactly. Since the Etera bring in so much drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's... everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pireni, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. So Cassandra has finally found us. You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. I guess that will be all right. Who knows what I'll get into. Yes! Just make sure you're extra careful. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. 
She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later... You will have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Cassandra. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal? A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing at Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find Damalis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. Has Damalis told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply... His men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two drachmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even the smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on show. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mystios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in, as though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this, so we can go after them next. He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his drachmi act for him. Well, something's sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. 
I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. You may be right. I could use you. See? That was my plan all along. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good, but if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> Do I know you? No. But I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have, army? Cough it up! The Nomenis will be quite upset if I don't let you meet him tonight. How? What do you want? I know about the Malis. And as her client, you seem to think she owes you something. 
I do love her, you know? With my whole heart. And yet, you're scaring her. Better me than another more careless man. Either I hurt the malice or I'm killed. That's not love. It's weakness. You say it as though I don't know. He knew that too. That's why he's making me. Who's making you? Tell the Mollis I'll stop. That I'm sorry. Fine. Chiere, old man. Let's see what we found. I wonder what this means. What's this? A coin purse? His things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. I've seen that iron poker used before. He didn't have a furnace. Why does he have this? It's not used for fire. It's a weapon. For torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Huge like the monger? Just like the monger. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. Yeah, I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Fine. Oh, I almost forgot. I got the sword from you from his house. Wow. You're a good thief. A place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. be the place described in the letter. Anybody home? Blood. Lots of it. A lock of hair. It smells familiar somehow. Malaka, what is this? Chains? Oil? This can't be what I think it is. 
Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. Just die! Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't. Especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. He'll leave you alone now. He gave me his word. So, we really can trust you, can't we? We're not all so easily blackmailed. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Why call on the gods when you have one of their messengers at your service? How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the monger's men came after one of us.
There. That's the boat our client described. Please, get her back safely. Away. I'm a friend. What do you mean? Your friend Erina hired me to save you from these men and bring you back. Erina? I commissioned that ship to steal me away from Corinth. You're escaping? From what? You have no idea what the monger does to people. The things I've seen, no one in Corinth is safe. Erina thought you were abducted. She clearly cares about you. If she cared about me, she'd let me go. Even Anthusa can't keep us safe anymore. She clearly disagrees. Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. They are going to hit us! We need reinforcements! We are ready to lose! Watch from the arrow!
You've more than made up for killing my abductors, Mistyos. Thank you. Try to stay out of trouble, all right? I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. Where is Cleo? Your friend is safe. That's what matters. So, she's really gone? She's not coming back. No. Thank you. I'll let Anthusa know. Guess I'll be alone at prayer tomorrow. You promise she's safe? You have my word. to burn some cargo. Sense, friend. Thank you. You're untied. Go.
Come and get it. like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse. I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Cassandra. I'd thank you too, if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too? An old Spartan tactic? I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Etera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger? We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. So, Sparta also has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Anthusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the Mongol would be flayed in the streets. Sparta wants him dealt with quietly. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the Mongol rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave, Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan, once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aietos as a child, and left for dead. You're the daughter of General Nikolaos? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Irini. But the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Merini. You knew Nikolaos? 
A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. I haven't seen him since I was a child. You don't know anything about Mirini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Marini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Your plan seemed to work. The mongers thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Brasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave.
So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant. Just like your mother. You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off! And send it to the cult as proof! What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll lay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Vimos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city. It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets. I wish I could have been there to watch Demos break your neck. Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! Anthusa? Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! No.
You wanted him dead. Here he is. It's a shame that people don't get to see him bleed. His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Huh. Yes. You're right. He's dead. Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Cassandra, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There's more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Gorin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? Family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Cassandra. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. <laughs> Ella. Apollo himself should spite your precious Hippocrates. But, priestess, he 
Hippocrates does respect Apollo. What an out Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? They're just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had to better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. How will I know when I've found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's watch to the cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. Look for a long line of sick people. He's a uh, balding, but I wouldn't mention that if I were you. <laughs> Off we go now. I thought they were exaggerating when they said people from all around came to see Hippocrates. <laughs> Ch 
So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Cassandra of Sparta. Well met, Cassandra of Sparta. What do you need? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes, yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. The mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopses, or so the legend goes. Hippocrates' notes are well guarded. Why? in this area.
What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi, just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. Hippocrates would never put Drachmi before a patient's life. But here, since you're so determined to be a mercenary, I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Hippocrates, how's your patient? Poor. Dimas? What are you doing here? There was a fire. Your notes were destroyed. What matters is that Dimas is here to help. Good. Dimas, with me. He'll live. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But... Two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient. That I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now.
Casting creatures! I can't work under these conditions! If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Dorios will be furious if his sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance! Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. Good 
Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way, over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bear. I remember this tale, written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um... Got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... of Sparta. Came here with child, sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? 
A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm looking for my mother, a Spartan woman who came through here. This kind priest brought me to this stone. It could be hers. I, um, have to... There's something... I must be going. We treat the sick, eagle bearer. And we respect the privacy of those we've treated. Now please leave. Your presence can only cause harm. Come on. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? What happened? <laughs> Who did this? He knew the penalty for speaking with the eagle bearer about her. Chrysis was clear. You didn't have to kill him. But we did, and now we'll kill you. And so you die!
same sickness as the rest. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the Eagle Bearer. Wants nothing but Drachmi for blood, I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepius to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Oh, not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bull, they can come get it themselves. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart. We'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this! <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mystios. But it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them.
guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Uh. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar, where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman! <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family.
Let's go. There's the statue of Apollo, and the altar. Chrysis will find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. A warning. Must be getting close. All you cultists will die here. seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Themo strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. 
You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Marini believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. Sandra, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. 
But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Sandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. You look healthy as ever. Tell Aspasia that. She won't worry so much about me. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses his no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection. As does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. Gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about the ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. 
Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasius' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. This looks like the place. Come on. This was savage. Done to send a message. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. Mother of all, I greet you.
Ανοιάζω. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! Yeah. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. Spasia knew the danger, and she still sent you. I'm sorry, Phoebe. You didn't deserve this. Let's ride. Off we go now. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight. For her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. <gasps> Go! Yeah! <laughs> 
All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go! going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. Do you want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. <sighs> You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive.
The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. It feels like... I let everyone down. I didn't get to them quick enough. I didn't make the right decisions. It's not your fault. There's no one to blame but the cult of Cosmos. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. That time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. Commander at the helm! Sail down! How stupid do you have to be to stroll into a Spartan camp wearing Athenian armor and then try to steal our supplies? Well, you we won't try that again. Not without the I won't be intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, Cersus, the merchants have. I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. Cassandra. How? But I closed my eyes, I could still see you falling. I thought I had lost you. Alexios is alive. Go! 
I found you. Your brother. We have to get him back. He's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What How did you... you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him? In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa... Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. It seems Silanos has finally grown tired of sharing the marble trade. Why now? We've always had problems with Mars. I expected an attack, just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. Allies often forget their allegiances when opportunity happens. Working with Sparta, given all that's happened. Paros made an alliance with the Athenians, so they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone. Oh. 
There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. I've never forgotten what you both taught me. I had a good education. I wanted you to be unstoppable. And you are. What happened to you in Argolis after that night? I found your brother and rushed to a young doctor's apprentice, Hippocrates. I thought I'd lost you. I wasn't ready to lose you both. I spoke with him recently. That night still haunts him. I was heartbroken when the healers in Asclepios told me Alexios was dead. The two of you were my whole world. But he did live. They lied to you. They must have realized he was special and handed him over to the cult. We'll save him from the cult, Mother. We'll get him back. The cult is insidious. Once they have their claws in, they don't let go. I fear he is beyond saving. I found you, didn't I? I know we can save him. Together. I don't understand why the cult targeted our family. There are many reasons, Lan. What did we ever do to them? Now that we're reunited, it's more a question of what we could do to them. They fear us. Your ancestors have been a thorn in their side for generations. They've decided we need to be eliminated to ensure their plans come to fruition. If it's our family they fear, we'll reunite and give them a reason to be afraid. Many have tried to stop them and failed. We are not those people. Where others failed, we will succeed. I know you left Sparta. But how did you end up on this island? I couldn't stand by Nikolaos after what he did. I had to get out of Sparta. So why here? I saw an opportunity to help people, to grow something. I was elected to rule and protect this island from those who would ruin what we've built. You've done some incredible things. Naxos is lucky to have you as its leader. It's not been without its difficulties, but I'm proud of what we've achieved. It's a pity there aren't more leaders like you. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. has nothing on Naxian beaches. Sparta. All I remember is the bottom of Mount Taietos. When I brought you to the Pythia as a baby, she never said we would live a nightmare. She said you had such promise. The Pythia can't predict everything. General acted quickly, raising the alarm. Timo knows Paris is a threat. They make their business clear. They can't be more clear than sending soldiers. And there's no treaty? Maybe there was, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy? I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. Ella. <laughs> coming along, Evandros. It will stay in ruins if we don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our enemy. 
but I'll see what I can do. It's a good deed restarting construction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you, Phoenix. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. <laughs> Me too. You have grown into a remarkable woman. But I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad. But I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Alexios and rescue him from the cult's grasp. They are the source of all our pain, and they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini, the symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. But my Admiral Aeneas is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit. Did you not hear what I said? These are their most skilled killers. You cannot stay in the public eye. They'll find you. I understand you perfectly. But I also need to be seen. The propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Baros. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Spasia? What brings you here? Cassandra! Read the room, my dear. 
I'm interrupting. Please, continue your discussion. It sounds fascinating. I've just come to tell your mother that the cult's elite forces are after her, and that this place is too open. And I've been telling Aspasia I need to appear in public to maintain the support of the citizens. You want me to handle the cult soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Where do your sources say I should start looking? I'd try the caves under Mount Zas. The cultists are so enamored of their own mysticism. It's predictable enough for them. I don't think anyone sent to kill you is going to admit who they're working for. You're right. Physical proof is better. I'm sure you can find something. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. Onward! Cave entrance. They're in there. Move! Come on! be spotted here.
with a seal of Paros. And a letter? Some kind of code.
The cult soldiers were paid with Rachmi from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the Merchant's Guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them they can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. This Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. Sparta has changed since we were there. Corruption spreads everywhere, as Aspasia says, even to Sparta. They want to instill discipline across the Greek world Why they rot from within. They're focused on the wrong enemy. I am still Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then, yes, I will go back. destroy your statues. We will burn down your temples if that's what it takes to rid the world of rodents like you.
You're the only survivor? They took prisoners. I was too far gone to carry back to Baros. What happened? We came to talk peace with Baros. They ambushed us. What of your captain, Aeneas? Took him. If Baros has him, where would he be? They joked about tying him atop the quarry and letting the sun soften him up. Why keep him alive? Leverage. They know he's important to Finicas. I'll get him. Make them pay. There's an ass. She's in bad shape. to stay hidden. Hard man to kill. I know. I know she wouldn't abandon me. Quick, let's get out of here. I can't get out. Shell!
Thank you, Miss Dios. I hope Phoenix pays you well for this. Remind her for me. Something's wrong with Paros. More than usual. Strange things are afoot. What did you see? There were others. Not the Paros type. One had a mask. Never seen that before. A mask? Hmm. I couldn't tell who he was. Time to get off this godforsaken island. I know my way back. You should tell Phoenicus what you saw. I'll report to her at once. Lions and wolves to fight with us. Hmm. The new guy is it. <clears throat> you may speak. 
Ships from Paros have blocaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Oh. Tell them I'm on my way. A blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? You're right. It's terrible odds for Paros. Be safe and come back to me, Lamb. Yeah! 
The harbor is clear. We need to move out before they send reinforcements. We're almost ready. Timo? The ships are loading now. They'll be ready on your command. Cassandra? A word. Is something wrong? Besides the attacks on my island and the cults meddling? No. But we must speak privately. Whatever you need. The cult must be stopped. When we return to Laconia, it will be dangerous. I'm used to it. We both are. Here I know who I can and cannot trust. I would have said that about Sparta too, but this news about the king. Did Aspasia find out which of the kings is working with the cult? For all we know, it's both. We must cleanse Sparta of its corruption, no matter the cost. At least now, we can face them together. Yes. For all that those bastards tried to take from us, and your brother. We will find him. Come see me when you're ready. Are you ready to sail? Where to? We're going to destroy the fleet of Paros once and for all. Only then will Naxos be secure enough for us to leave. I'm ready. <sighs> then I leave this to you. With your shield. Or on it. And now we strike a blow to the cult. Ah! <laughs> 
Enemies nearby! Naxos seems secure. 
We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast one at a time until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together. I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. Who is he? He's a difficult man to describe. He's many things. But the only way to truly know him is to meet him yourself. So you won't tell me now? There are details only he can provide. I hope when you meet him, you understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Thera. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. This place is nice. Rowers! Do your oars! There's the camp. Not what I expected. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key.
to be in the right position. That should work. Now, to try the door. Finally! Now we need to find what lies within. Father be here. Watch my step.
What is this place? Time to take a dive. Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers! There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to seal it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts that open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back, but I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. Vera! We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious! We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus! Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out.
I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstabo. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said the assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis! How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside.
Come on. Talk to him. Come on. Ella. Camp. Warriors must be nearby. He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. The lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, Amistios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Iotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pivos. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of many calves in Viotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. He's over there. Let's go. Must be Pibos. Or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the animal.
together perfectly. This must be the key. Must only work at night. I should come back after dark. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx. The guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. What is large yet never grows, has roots that cannot be seen, and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. At night they come without being fetched. And by day, they are lost without being stolen. The stars. You're a wise one. This thing all things devour. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Nose iron bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal. Slays kings, ruins towns, and beats high mountains down. Time. I'm impressed. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices.
had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, if you who try to rewrite the laws of the universe, you who manipulate human progress, what do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious.
Let's go. Upon my four mortals, regard my godly gifts and know the truth of my words. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue, so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe there's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. 
The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mystios. Something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Empedocles? As any sibling loving, filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm, worth it. Gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. made from rotten snail guts. Strides. The confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mystios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you. Ares demands your audience. That's a big promise. You doubt me? I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded. As will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it.
my brothers, my sisters. Someone sounds very stompy today. I know that temper anywhere there is. Do not fear, brother. I shall comfort you soon. Please, my family, let me come home. You see? They're here! The, the gods are... behind this door! Listen! I didn't mean to be away so long. Kithera is... Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something in there, Empedocles, but it's bigger than Aphrodite's welcoming bosom. They're preparing our welcome. Quickly, Mystios. We cannot delay. Whatever is inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heaven! See if I can cheer him up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous features. Call me Alicia. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, each you who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created? Don't touch that chest! It's mine! 
I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back! These ruins are an interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, below this very spot, my patter, the great adventurer Nikios entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As I waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not Patter. I need to save him. A tragic tale. But last I heard, the Minotaur was living in Pefka. He's quite famous. They don't know what they're talking about. The real Minotaur is in Mesara. That's what they said in Pefka. It's a scam. Trust me, I know scams. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater's. Find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die. And I will find your pater. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Artos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground. With a huge door, everybody keeps going on about the cow. The sales killed the minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar like, like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The minotaur is still alive and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No butter has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. He really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Almost there. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... ...is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos' palace. Open the door. I've got a Minotaur to slay. Ah! Oh, right. It's locked. Don't worry, we'll find a way. You must know something. I don't, but the guys who went into the labyrinth with my pater will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me? Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Bold. And the collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy, they call him Swordfish. Of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay. And he's mean. Where should I start looking for... swordfish? Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. Swordfish? He must have a long, pointy nose. No, no, he's really good with a sword, and he's really good with a fish, I guess. This collector, where is he? He lives in Gartin, near some red pillars, in a crazy house with lots of stuff. I've borrowed some trinkets from him. He has so many, he never even noticed. Don't let me catch you borrowing from me. From you? I would never get caught. Tell me 
more about this old man. Okay. So my old caretaker recently sent me a message about wanting to meet in Festos. That's nice of him. <laughs> he never answered me about my pater or the Minotaur. Ever. That's why I left in the first place. I'll go in your place and see what I find. The message said to meet him at our old house, northeast of here, near Festos. I'll make sure they all talk. Fishermen should know something about swordfish. Fishmonger, I'm looking for swordfish. Shh. Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go before I get my nose cut off. I'm looking for swordfish. I I I know nothing. Swordfish, can you help? Piss off, Malacca. Uh, I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes, swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless, cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Why is it that every time I mention his name, people jump? Swordfish controls Heraklion and everyone in it. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's all I know, Mistress. If he's so dangerous, why are you talking to me? I'm old. Tired, sick of bowing down to pay fees. If you can take him out, we're all better for it. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. This is it. On here, swordfish. have nothing to do with occultists. Think I believe you! You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! 
Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vimos? Answers. And you will give them to me. How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But Rachlion is still mine! All its fish and all its people! You're insane! What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the steel. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikios said! I'll feed you to this ass! So good with a sword after all. You can find Drachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. A broken man. Haunted by the Minotaur to the very end. You must be the hoarder. The collector. Dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The... No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. I'm not here to break bones. I'm here for information. Give it to me, and I'll be on my way. I'll answer your questions, but you won't ask the right one. Can we not play games? Fine. You're going to need Theseus' armor, which I sold to be part of a collection at the fort. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus' when we found it. 
But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios... Don't make Nikios' mistake. Where is Zeus's armor? What do you know of the boy? Son of Nikios. Stubborn. A little shit. His father's son. You remember him fondly enough, yet you refuse to speak to him. If I speak, he might not listen. The truth is armor against little, Mistheus. You said you sold Theseus's armor. Who has it? A military commander, stationed in the fort. He has a cave filled with all sorts of prizes. The armor is his crown jewel. Sounds like a hard thing to part with. No, easy. That armor, it would have saved Nikios. It would have saved the boy's father. Yet, I wore it. I didn't deserve. The armor haunted me. No point keeping ghosts in my collection. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If the Zeus's armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of the Zeus's armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind. And perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave. Be careful. High security here. This must be Ardos' house. Where's the boy? Ardos? 
You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe, far from here. Hmm, where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I... it's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what'll happen if you don't tell me anything? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? What is to happen to the boy? I don't know, Mistyos. They just told me to bring him back, but we both know what they're capable of. And you'd bring them an innocent boy? Where is the old man? They're at Festos village, southwest of here. They got him tied to a post and they're beating him. You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agreed to kidnap the boy. They're just up the road. The cult. Go kill them all. You'll be doing me a favor too. Let me go and I won't tell anyone what happened. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Mistyos. The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festus. Hello, come on. Yeah. The old man is here. Let's hope no one notices me here. There's the old man amongst those guards. Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy. Thank the gods. Let's get out of here before they return. Breathe, old man. Ardos, the boy, is he safe? Uh, alive? I won't let anyone hurt him. Though I do sometimes think about strangling him myself. Ardos has been known to test even the most resolute of wills. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. What drove everyone out of the labyrinth? Something must have happened. I never went inside. I'm not a fool. But Nikios wanted me to watch the boy. I stayed outside and prayed. But I heard it. The Minotaur. To return. But Nikios. Ardos said his father is in the labyrinth. Is this true? Yes. He never came out. Though two who did, will never truly escape it. Ardo says you refuse to speak or talk to him about his father. How can anyone tell a boy the person he looks up to, his father, and only family, is dead? What I can do in Nukios' honor is to stop his son from entering that cursed place. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc. The key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. 
and I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mistios. <laughs> I, I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. They have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family. He needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Mistios. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Mistios. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. This must be a part of the Zeus's armor. Fancy. <laughs> Ella. Whatever it was, I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you... Go. He told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait! And stored fish? What did he say? You found him, right? He said the key goes in the stele. Oh, I know where the stele is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth, a disc. Oh. You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc. In a stele. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the stele, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about a minotaur. And... And you'll save my pater too, right? I promised I'd save your pater, didn't I? You're the best, Mistios. Your pater and I will be back before you know it. Let's head to the entrance and try out the disc. Looks like a piece of Theseus' army.
This can't be Minoan. What is this? Walaka, it's real. By the gods. Zeus used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. of rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this. Minotaur. And here we go!
father would be so proud. The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I didn't find him. There's no way anyone but me could have survived down there. My Petr was fast and really smart. If anyone could have, it would have been him. Maybe he got out. That's why you couldn't find him. Ardos? He's not coming back. You said you looked, right? And if you couldn't find him, he must have made it out. A crack in the wall. Or, you know, he climbed out the way you went in, yeah? No. <laughs> Your pater loved you. If he got out, he'd have come to see you. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Better ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Miss Dios. Without Pater, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Ardos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's head home first. Maybe something there will help us find your Pater. Home? Yes, our home. Let's go. I'm sorry I stole the music. I understand. And your amulet. What amulet? And your ring collection. So that's where... And your memoirs. I hadn't finished those. By the gods, you can't be stealing things all the time, Ardos. But I'm good at it. And I only steal from people who deserve it. I didn't deserve it. You didn't talk to me for years. Well, I... You're right. I wasn't there for you. Perhaps I did deserve it. I know, right? Not to mention all the gold. What? Artos? Uh, you didn't steal anything from the Mystios, did you? <laughs> we'll never know. try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We easily see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your past. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of... Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. But please, don't give up. You 
you are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me. You treat humans as youthful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Silence, snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with a writhing dread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless, unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest where the creature lives, where is it? Beyond the Petrified Temple, north of here, a damned place. Haunted by sane and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned the Ligia. She's... Beyond beauty, beyond grace. A daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her she soul? She lives, Mistios. I know it. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, we must save our city. And these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. They worship the writhing dread. Heal them before they call its wrath upon us.
You're safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistios. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistios. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Bris, Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the dread ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. the realm of the writhing dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog bears. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. Oh, these statues are unnervingly lifelike, and their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If she's... if she's stoned, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Haron. <coughs> Ligia! Ligia! Brace, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. to get inside but I see no openings and the walls are too smooth to climb she shouldn't be in there she should be in my arms her breath her smell every night we'd meet at the dread ruins I was late just once I wanted to find her a rose something as perfect as she is this is my fault if I'd gotten there in time Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? 
You were searching for a rose, a gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Brice. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Hios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. Better stay hidden. Excuse me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learn through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. You're talking about the writhing dread? The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Tell me how you were able to defeat the creature. It all happened so fast. We had a plan to break into the temple and corner it, but it ambushed us before we got inside. There was no time for strategy after that. Why go after the creature in the first place? We were hired to steal an ancient item from within its lair by masked soldiers. Tell me about the item they wanted you to steal. Truth is, I don't even think they knew exactly what it is. After I killed the creature, I went to search the lair, but it was sealed. Give me that spear. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. Ha! <laughs> 
Nothing special about this spear. of Artemis are where Brice said they'd be. The cave with the key must be nearby. This looks like the place. This is it. not to get spotted. It opens the writhing dreads layer, like they say.
The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Ilya waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which he claims killed the writhing dread. No, no, the creature took Ligia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... I have what opens the lair. And you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. Then Tihi truly is on our side. Ligia still stands a chance. You have no idea what you... Please! speaks of turning victims to stone. I... I hear you, my love. Look at me, Ligia. Please, just look me in it. Ligia! Ligia? It's me. Please.
up the artifact and transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We used to see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. No easy answers for you. Your future depends. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing. Just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, Eagle Bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursor should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as 
it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction. When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. <laughs> this is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. The staff is the key to this place. I don't want to get locked in. I can't hand it over yet. There is still so much to see. 
That wasn't the plan. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open. And you know it. He wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly. But I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot.
got it! Is it? What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... You used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... Belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. 
I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very competent. I'm exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready, I'm all ears. I need every last detail. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> Sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon.
You made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me a lot of things. Icarus was once his, the doors to Atlantis need to be sealed, and something about mind-controlling artifacts. I, I think I left with more questions than answers. Yes. He tends to have that effect on people. When you and he... Well, did you know he was over a hundred years old? <laughs> He looked young for his age. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hello. The closer we get to Sparta, the more memories keep coming in. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Narcissus I could forget. It was as if I could yeah. lock Sparta in a box and toss it to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to, but it would have taken all the food in the land. Have you lost your senses? Yeah! Come on! Come on. <gasps> this is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. You remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. Yeah! 
Mater? I'm not your mother. But I'm sure she's proud of you. Tell her I'm sorry I yelled. I was angry. I didn't mean to. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? These boys were in trouble. I thought I'd help. No, she didn't. Don't lie to me, boy. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you. These boys are weaker now because of you. The Spartan army will be weaker because of you. I should kill you where you stand. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahuji is what turns boys into men, and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Cassandra, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe me, Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. Training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Kortia. Keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Spartan never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas. Enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed. And Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. And last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But, for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I've tried to block out what happened here. You were so scared of breaking him. You ran around the house, gathering every pillow and blanket. 
You piled them all around you, and only then did you feel safe to hold him. He was so small. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Brasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers. Then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. The last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Grandfather was a true hero. Maybe one day they'll sculpt the statue of me. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So... Our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear.
All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Zeus is one Sparta. You have to go through me. Incredible! Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias, we're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Two innocent children were put to their deaths that day. Cassandra, enough. Apologies, my king. She's been away from Sparta for a long time. You both have. This one has fire like her mother. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Hillots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Cryptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once. But the Cryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. And where would I start looking for these Cryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarak's point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was last seen in one of the villages west of Illot Hills. 
He's definitely the loudest of the three. My mother spoke of these cryptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the King's Guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kreptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were dealt with. But lately, these Kryptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kryptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
doing that? Let's go. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Found him. Sight. 
The weapons have to be here somewhere. There's only one Spartan here that I need to kill. It'll be easier if I don't alert the others. I need to take down their commander. Found them. and the others. Three weapon racks destroyed. It won't take much longer. to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Papsanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Pafsanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. I yield.
Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos' guard has improved. He should thank me. Rasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia, my king. She helped with the Elotes rebellion. They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Your elders had both her children thrown off a cliff. They tore our family apart. Cassandra, not here. But the minute she thought Sparta was in danger, she came back. She brought us both back to help. How dare you accuse her of not caring? I've heard your grandfather couldn't control his temper either. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta. And kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta. And redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this, uh, fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. One of the kings is a cultist. So one of these tasks is surely a trap. But... which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your eyes open. 
I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Popsanias asked me to bring the Pancration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Cassandra, of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling, a fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that'll make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. Let's go. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. 
I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master. Maybe explain the situation? What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now, to add... For the final touch, a rose petal. Testicles will smell so good. I hope he appreciates this. Oh, it smells so good, I almost want to keep it for myself. Never thought I'd actually get to see the Olympics with a champion, no less. Can't see the appeal. Everyone coming together peacefully in friendly competition rather than on a battlefield. You'd think they'd just kill each other like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. And training, good for the Constitution. Yeah! Technically, the champion! Uh. What do you want from the great champion, Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion! Champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no! Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil? My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, 
What is this stinking piss? Are you all right? Yeah. Actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. No time for a little drink to celebrate. <laughs> Sail first. Drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> He'd better fucking win. Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who do you think will win the most wreaths this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancratio, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who's that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous. I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I 
he likes to be royal. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Oh. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals? And Testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Cassie. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pankration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on, apart from the Pankration? There's javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Talk to him. Ella. Pankration here! I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water. I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Come on! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium. And now, 
and esteemed Zaz here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart. The Pankration! I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action. For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha <laughs> ha I'll squish you like a bag! Come on, coward! Yeah. Oh, that's not fair! This is it hurts! Why is your death oh. gone now? Why you? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what she can do against... Erasto! Good luck! Don't blink, or you'll be seeing stars! Ugh. You're simply delaying Death is near. The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Cassandra against our reigning champion, Voriaf! Uh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. <gasps> Though, if Socrates were a more willing... ...a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias. Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonideon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Boys, do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Sanctuary of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. True 
house is fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. This food smells strange, but it's not rotten. Hmm, supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. Now, we're going to have a conversation. Please, please, I, I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know, I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race, but then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades, I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Koroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. This must be the antidote. Hm? I should be extra careful in this area.
to claim your spot. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I fought all sorts of people. And they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Come to wish me luck? Of course! And if you win, you should come dine with me sometime. Maybe I'll hunt you down after the event, to take you up on your offer. Of course, after the event. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how she does against our reigning champion, Zoria! Gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory!
Giddy up. Come on. There. We'll be good to see Mater and Brasidas again. Come on. Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you. You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. I'm just a traveler. And there's more than one broken spear in this world. And the eagle he mentioned. What eagle? Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Show me what you've got, or is that it? <laughs> Just a traveler, she says. <coughs> Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin of your shit-eating face! He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, and you may walk out of here alive. You show mercy. 
Arcadia will give you none in return. Speak! You'll find them on a hill. A cliff overlooking Tegea. You said Brasidas didn't pay enough. Who did? The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Roche. His name is La Roche. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain, controls the world. Consider yourself lucky. I've seen enough blood. Oh, but you'll be seeing a lot more. Welcome to Arcadia, Cassandra. Come on. I want the Archon dead. Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. Your messenger is lucky to be alive. He betrayed you, Brasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Roche to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King in Sparta will be clear. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this Lagos problem without too many beheadings. Excellent! We need to handle this how you handled the monger in Corinthia. I'll keep that in mind. Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket. And Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Bounties and threats aren't Lagos' style. He's a farmer, not a killer. What do you think we should do? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket will send the false king searching for crumbs. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. And what if Presidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. Where exactly are Lagos' guards stationed? Some rest their heads at the barracks in Tegea. There's also a camp and a fort in Smuggler's Forest. Destroy his guards there, and his defenses will be weakened. Tell me where to find the silos. The Archon stores his wheat in Pan's cradle. Set the silos alight, and his livelihood will go up in smoke. I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb.
You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and weed. This is personal. Has to be some proof around here. You came. Lagos still lives then. What exactly is this place? Lagos is a very public figure in Acadia. This is where he handles his more private affairs. Remind me, why are you covering for the man who wants me and my mother dead? I've known Lagos a long time. He got supplies through to my lines when my soldiers were starving. For him to act so dishonorably is completely out of character. What are you looking for? If we can find out who's manipulating Lagos, there'll be no need for blood. I thought Spartans drank blood for breakfast. <laughs> I've seen enough for two lifetimes. Still, I have hope. <laughs> You're getting soft, Brasidas. When Leonidas died at the hot gates, we all came together against a common enemy. Athenians, Spartans, fighting side by side. What is it? Someone's here. Were you followed? No. Good. You have the letter from Lagos? I do. Our job is to deliver this to this scorched tree, near a golden field. Someone will meet us there and take it to the hideout. A letter from Lagos? It could have the answers we need. I'll follow them. You keep searching the house. I was brought here with Lagos's family. I thought we'd be killed. Where are they? Below ground, with many guards. I need you to go tell my friend Brasidas I found them. He should be in an old farmhouse northeast of Tiea. I'll do it. 
Thank the gods you came to help us. Wonder what's down here? Cassandra, Brasida sent me. Are we going home? I have no idea. We've been trapped in this filthy cave for days, with no word from Lagos whatsoever. You're free, but it's not safe to return to Lagos yet. Are those scary men still with butter? Have you heard of the cult of Cosmos? Only in whispers. Ever since my husband found new business partners, they've stationed guards around our home. For our safety, he said. Then one day, those guards dragged us here. They're making your pater do things he doesn't want to do. I'll find Lagos and release him from these... scary men. And what of us? I can't go back to that reps. And now that these guards are dead, we're in danger. For now, go to my friend Brasidas. We'll meet you at the safe house, northeast of Tejea. Where Lagos has his secret meetings. Are you angry, Matter? I am grateful you saved us. We'll go find Brasidas. Here.
found the Archon. I knew you'd come find me sooner or later. What tipped you off? I know it was you who freed my family. They're safe thanks to you. I did what I had to, even with everyone in Arcadia trying to kill me. The world is so chaotic now. The cult made it that way. We're living in divided times. Sparta against Athens, old against new. <laughs> And you think the cultists aren't stoking the flames on both sides? I've seen what they can do, what they're willing to do. I want what's best for Arcadia. I'll consider what you have to say. It's not too late. Leave the cult of Cosmos and join Brasidas. You consider me your ally today. How can I know you and Brasidas won't change your minds? We can work together against our common enemy. You deserve better than to live under the threat of the cult. You sound like Brasidas when he was your age. You give me hope. The cult gave me this. They said it was a sign of my devotion. Maybe you can use it against them. I'm sure I can find a way. I lift the bounty on you and Merini, and may you find success in your fight against this evil. Thank you, Archon. We appreciate it. You saved my family from the cult by yourself. You're courageous. Why? You've made an enemy of a king. Pafsanias threatened my family with torture and death if I betrayed him. Pafsanias? Do you have proof? Here. Evidence of his treachery. Thank you. I'll see about this king of lies. The bounty is lifted. Lagos is alive. See? I knew we could solve this without violence. That cultist deserved to die. Lagos is no longer with the cult. 
I convinced him he's safer without them. The cult of Cosmos would eat their own young if it serves their needs. Not Lagos. He was being blackmailed by King Pausanias. He had Lagos' family at knife point, and I have proof. King Pausanias? We must return to Sparta to confront him. We may have won a wreath, but the kings also wanted us to conquer the Viotians. True. You are needed there before we return. Very well. I'll take my leave of you, Cassandra. I won't soon forget your good work here. It was good to see you again, Marini. Though we had our disagreements, I do hope you regain your house soon. Arcadia is safe once more. And the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. I'm looking for... You! Stentor? Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? What is the Spartan army doing in Viotia? We sieged Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The king Viotia will weaken his position. The wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. I'm here on business. What's going on? Everything is fine. The Viotian rebels are a problem, but nothing we can't handle. You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Veragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. Where will I find these mighty Viotians? I only know of two. There are reports of Aristeos occupying the military fort of Gela. Nesea was last seen in the forest east of Thebes. I thought the Viotians hated everyone. Why are they working with Athens? They see both Sparta and Athens as enemies. But Athens got here first, and they agreed to a temporary alliance. What's so great about these champions? They're just four people against the Spartan military. Sparta has its army, 
And Viodia has its legends. And they're a symbol of what this place used to be. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. This is it. Ella. <laughs> Ella. These tracks don't look human. They lead away from the camp to the north. This hut must be Nasea's. I guess she prefers the quiet of the forest over living in the city. This fire's fresh, and the food's still simmering. Messiah can't be far away. Stalks the mighty hunter. The hunter.
where he is. Off we go now. Hello. Looks like I missed a fight. Potter? Cassandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. You came all this way to help Stentor. Good. He needs it. It's about time I started protecting those I care about. You're right. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye, Cassandra of Sparta.
Voilà. That's the Amira, the champion. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. They're not punishing you. They're helping you. Why do you think I'm here? The gods must hate me if our paths keep crossing. From what I've seen, you needed a divine intervention. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better.
Victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might have learned more. Stop! Don't you dare tell me what to do! I am in command here! You needed my help! By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you! You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, Your you... Your job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace! One would be enough, but all three is better! You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here's the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Tentor. 
Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. How many times do I have to tell you? Centaur, she owes me nothing. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. Let's go. Hello. I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Cassandra. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Afors and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Afors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Ephors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Ephors? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. I brought home a wreath for Sparta. Though, I had to enter the games and win it myself. Very good. But what of our Pankration champion, Testicles? There was an accident at sea before he could compete. Games are hardly important. What about Viotia? 
Stentor and I defeated the Athenian forces. You have nothing to worry about. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pafsanias. I have traveled Spartan lands and beyond, and found proof of Pafsanias' betrayal. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. These traitors are willing to kill hundreds, to rule thousands. Here's all the proof you need. Proof? What proof? So the rumors are true. We never would have thought a king could be so dishonorable. Honor belongs to history. You deserve death. How for dare your you threaten a king? Pafsanias, you are king no more. As of this day, you are exiled from Sparta. Before Athena and Eris, I swear you'll regret this. Justice will be done. You'll have your justice, puppet king. Forgive us, my king. My daughter couldn't let him stay in power any longer. Of course not. You've more than earned your citizenship. Sparta owes you thanks, and releases your home unto you. Your home has returned. Our homeland. Let us leave the court to its business. We'll talk outside. As for Pavsanias, it would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. He is a cultist, after all. When you've dealt with him, meet me at Leonidas's tomb. I must show you something important. I'll find you there, Mater. King Pavsanias is part of the cult of Cosmos. I'll have to kill him myself. Huh? <laughs> Ella. There's Pafsanias. Malaka. You are going to kill some of
It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. It did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Prasidas! Come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pilos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. It sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in his path. If Vimos is in Pylos, we have to stop him. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Alexios is in Pylos. You have to bring him back, Cassandra. Bring him back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll bring him back, no matter what. This is serious, Cassandra. We may not get another chance. I understand. He must have seen the cultists or what they truly are by now. It doesn't matter what you have to do. Bring back your brother. You must. Nothing will stop me. I shouldn't keep Rasidas waiting. Be safe, Cassandra. This is good news for a change. Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. Oh, <laughs> 
And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His, yours, and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Alexios. But I will stop you. I say,
I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. It sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Ask the people who want me dead. Who treat you like a fucking god. You dare insult the ones who didn't leave me to die? They were the ones who sent you over that cliff. I gave them victory! They would throw away their champion? Malaka! You're being used. You wouldn't be here with me if you thought they were telling you the whole truth. Here's the truth. If all they wanted was a soldier, there are thousands. They want me, and only me. They want our family gone. All of us. Not one of us left. Then explain why I'm still here. They got to you young. They built you to their benefit. And they built a machine. They don't care what happens to us. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here... in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, boy. I am not your puppet. And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You helped me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your brother now. A pity. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. For hours!
Good timing. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Varnavas. Come, Varnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. Commander's sister is visiting. You made it. Of course I did. Barnabas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. Μόνον όταν το επιχείρημα δομείται πιστικών... I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. 
Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Muddy tracks probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Looks like someone dug here.
This was right. This is exactly what we needed. You're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me. If you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is! Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many 
or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! You could just get another actor. Oh, no! Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. 
No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. This must be Thespis's house. Let's go. Come on, come on, it's got to be here. The commander will be furious if I... You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Axenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Do something worthwhile and join my crew. You're loyal, and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. But my cup's drained and I'm to perform tomorrow. Another drink! Come, one more tale! The night is young! I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. 
I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk, and I need to get him home. What are you, his mother? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me Thespis, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Here, for your trouble. I'll look after him now. Ha! A fool and his drachmi! Very well. You won't see us again. Eyes not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Wee! Giddy ups! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became both. Told him Cleon will kill us all. It's more assault than satire. The sausage seller was my idea. Then I will. I will gather my, uh, what was it again? Oh yes, sausages. Mm. Thank you, but you can go no further, for I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't, I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So say Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Let me I tell you a secret. If if it's was a, a good, good idea. One. I, uh... Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No, Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No, Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. 
They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still to threaten you? Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Actioner knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Rexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. Ugh! <laughs> 
Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now. We need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine, and he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like old daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! Oh. 
Spartans are tough. But did I tell you about that time? I took on five of them. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So, what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. Brasidas. Cassandra, good to see you. Alive. Pilos didn't go as planned. At least they didn't get my battle arm. I'm glad you're all right. I was happy to get your message. I'm happy it got to you in time. Tell me what happened after the battle. They found me wounded. I was taken back to Sparta and given time to heal. My leg won't be the same, but they didn't kill me. No Spartan got off easy. I was captured and brought to Athens. Athens? That rubs salt into the wound. Proof there's still work to be done. There always is. So Cleon's here? He's close, somewhere outside the city walls. He intends to take Amphipolis. For once, he plans to fight with his men. He was disgraced in Athens. He needs to win back their respect. A chance at retribution? Can't let that happen, can we? Cleon's here. We need to move. Easy. First, we need to find him. We're outnumbered, and our spies say he's already sent for Athenian reinforcements. All the more reason to act. You've proven yourself. It's a risk, but I trust you. We're going to stop, Cleon. I give you my word. Good. Let's move quickly. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. The Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! They need to be shot down! Now! Please guide me! Stop 
is ahead! Destroy it all!
personally. Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? This is all your fault. You did this, Cleon. You have only yourself to blame. Cassandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up. We made him great, unstoppable. You made him a monster. Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you, this world is severed, Cassandra, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll earn what you meet at the gates of Hades. No. Now, kneel. You don't understand. Ugh. No one will forget me. Cleon of Athens, I will be remembered. You're already forgotten. That's it then. Irene will want to know Cleon is dead. Sandra, it was never supposed to be like this.
decades ago. A group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war. One you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too, then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader, but only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. I thought Vimos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. Malaga! So you were after us? Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time, but only certain people can activate it. People like Zemos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something, too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. 
So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you, and in the end you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I... don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Cassandra. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. Any storm. Off we go now. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. They must killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Demos' back. Wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. 
I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietus, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> my sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promise to bring him back, Mother. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promise to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? But I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You are just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the road. Alexios? When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts. A family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. 
my destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. Alexios. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. 
You're special. Look at the life they've blessed you with. Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. Baby. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Cassandra, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared his burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I helped him all I could. He was my friend. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Cassandra killed the monger as an act of espionage. That's exciting. Write a scene like that. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. 
Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, al Kibiadis. And to that, I raise my drink. To moving forward, we'll leave the past behind. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>